What do you guys think of my food? <laughs> you think this is very cool? I look very Eskimo-ish. Eskimo. Somebody's making fun of me. But we... <laughs> who? Who would make fun of me? My loving, dear husband over here. I love you because I love you. Yes, you can tell. There's lots of love. Lots of love. <laughs> and we're walking and it's... It's not like raining, but it's like drizzling, I guess you could say. Enough that you would probably want something. So this all I got. But we are going, well that's not. to the uh, Trade Center Memorial. Yeah, so we're going to the 9-11 Memorial. And then I don't know what else we're doing after that, so. That's all I have planned. That's all we got. We just want to get out of our room. Okay, so we're in this place. I don't know what it is, but <laughs> it has like some shops and stuff. And the other day, like when we first got here, me and Ryan, saw them put up all this Christmas stuff and I'll show you guys it's so pretty <laughs> oh, look at it isn't it so pretty So we saw them, they were actually fluffing the bottom of this and it was like a big long strip and there were these men fluffing it. I don't know if the rest of the tree was like that, but it was really pretty. And you get this family of deers just like my little family. all the way down into this infinity pool that it's crazy to think about y'all like everybody has their story about like what where they were and what happened you know like because everybody can remember where they were but it's crazy to like look in person because this part of the island is so narrow like where would you go like when this happens, like, where would you go? Like, what would you... Like, you run straight to the water. Like, you either go, like, up into Manhattan or you go to the water. Like, there's nowhere to go. It's crazy because it's so narrow down here. You kind of think, like, the rows of buildings. I mean, dust yeah. and debris that came through here just funneled down the street. And, right. yeah, the only place to go is you either go towards uptown or you head towards the water. Like you couldn't get out. I think that would be the, like the scariest, I mean, obviously so dramatic and scary regardless, but there would be debris like to the water. Like it would be that bad. And it's almost like eye opening to like stand here and think like, this is crazy. That's the memorial. 
So there's the South Tower, the North Tower, the new one. It's crazy to think about. It's just crazy. when the plane hit the tower. Just the how earth shaking oh. and how low the plane was. Because it hit, I want to say like, somewhere between, if I'm not mistaken, like the 50th and the 75th floor or something. I don't, I don't remember. But yeah, just like, and then for the second plane to come and hit, The second plane hit on a bank, like it was turning, it turned into it, remember? Mm -hmm. I remember watching the plane, the second plane hit, yeah, like watching it on too. TV, like everybody like did think it, it was just on, and you didn't think that was going to happen. I was actually in school at the time, like we were, I was sitting in a classroom, because uh, um, I, I had like a zero period. No, I was at home, I was just like, Yeah, his parents kept him home. I was just getting up, getting ready for school when the phone rang and it was my grandmother who was like, turn the TV on. Like, what are you talking about? Why do you turn the TV on? So I just turned the TV on and as soon as I turned the TV on the second tower, you know, the plane hit the second tower. I remember my mom being like, you have to see this. Oh my gosh, this just happened. Oh my gosh. And I was like, okay. But yeah. she worked in a hospital. So like she had to go to work and I think she thought it was safer to send us to school than to like leave us by ourselves. Yeah. Because at least if we went to school, like somebody would care for you or if something happened, you know? And it's not like she could call in. True. So, because yeah. in the hospital, like you can't do that. And if like something happens, like I remember her saying, like, I don't know when I'm going to get to come home because they'll just keep you. And I remember telling her, like, on the phone, like after school stuff, like, but we're sitting in the rain. And we were just talking about how the plaza isn't that big. Like from the south to the north tower, like the space in between is like... Feet, maybe, maybe a little more. Maybe a little more, but Two, not... Maybe 200 foot. Not that feet. much, yeah. But if you just think about like just the massive amount of debris, it would be ridiculous. I mean these... They these were close. Towers were I didn't over. realize they were that close. They were over 100 stories tall. I would think, yeah. I think they were like 100, almost 200 stories tall. I would no think. Idea. No idea. Maybe not. Maybe they were 100 stories. I don't know. We should probably go in the museum. Yeah, they were massive towers. So we'll show you guys the other one. This is the new tower. Right in front of it. it back together. Yeah. It's crazy. crazy. That, that thing, oh my gosh, you guys. That's crazy. Did you get what the sign said? Yeah, so it was inside. It was, uh, it's, the original location of it was in the plaza of the World Trade Center. So it was in the plaza where the towers usually were originally at. 
And so and this is what was left of it? This is, yeah. So they... And they pieced it together, you can tell. Pieced sure. it back together and kind of like tried to round it back out. Yeah. But yeah, this is all like a pieces from your original plaza. That's crazy that that's like pieces of debris, basically. Pieces of the plaza. So we came to see this deer. Look how big he is. You can see him like from way across the street. He's so neat. We can't, we don't know what this thing is that we're by, but. It's Brookfield Plaza. I know that. We which, don't know what that means that? though. Yeah, I think it's a little wall. It's slippery up here. Oh, you get my shiver. I don't want to fall either. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'm not sure what's it. So, you guys, this is the deer. He's so neat. You can't tell, but he's really cool. Yeah. It's raining, so it's hard. So, we're above some. But you can. He's very neat. And then we're, we're across the, some kind of bridge. It's hard to tell because it's raining too. What's this place? It says shopping, dining, and events. Take your sex with Avenue. Ooh. These wreaths, guys. It's hard because the lights are here, but look at They're all down this corridor. You know, I have to say, New York gonna, goes all out for Christmas. Everybody's decorating. Every place we passed had a tree in the lobby. Like buildings, businesses, like everything. It's pretty cool. Check this out. There's menorahs right by the trees. Very equal opportunity holiday around here. I kind of like that. That's kind of fun. Because you don't see that everywhere. Don't run me into nothing. Check out that security. New York don't mess around no more. Dang. I'm gonna get you for filming it too. <laughs> so the other night we came and we put some pictures up and we walked through these trees because they were so pretty. And um, oh my gosh, there's a bird over there. <laughs> oh! Is he in my frame? I don't know. Yuki, you look so crazy. How much you gave him? No, okay, if you guys don't know, I'm sure you guys don't know, but I'm deathly afraid of birds. I don't like them at all. At all. And, oh, we were at the Statue of Liberty, and there's all these birds because by the water. And I was just dying. I'm like, oh. But anyway. <laughs> we're walking through this magical winter wonderland. And it's by the, what's it? It's by the World Trade Center Mall, right? Yeah. It's really pretty. Sorry about the water spots. All right, here's Ryan Birds making his letter to Santa. See, it says, Dear Santa. Can we see it? Yep. And you got to make sure you do all the grammatical things, the periods, and the, all the things. 
Because he's got to be able to read it. I don't think Santa's blind to no commas or anything. Oh, no. He likes he grammatical correct letters, <laughs> let me tell you. So me and Anthony got back. And we went down to the... what? What is it called that we go down to? It's the hotel restaurant. Oh, yeah. So we went down to the hotel restaurant. We hung out for a little while. And then we came back up here. And now Ryan... Now Anthony's eating jelly beans. <laughs> Starburst jelly beans. <laughs> and Ryan's writing his yetter. Can I, can I have an orange one, Dad? And... Excuse me, Ma. I think we're going to go tomorrow and mail his letter. There's this hotel here called The Palace. And from what I understand, it has a very big mailbox that's connected to Santa. What do you think of that? That's kind of cool. So. I have no idea what to say to him. You have no idea what to say? Oh, dear. Guess you better figure it out. <laughs> I'm thinking of just go I'm going love running. There might be some more that you want to say. You better make sure. I don't know. I've said what I've wanted. I even added a little bit. I hope you get this letter. Do you tell him that you've been good all year? Did you ever write a letter to Santa? Do you remember doing that when you were a kid? I don't remember ever writing letters to Santa. You don't? Did you go see Santa? Yeah. Yeah, we went every year to see Santa. Oh, that's a surprise. I think that's probably why I didn't write letters in, because I went every year and, and sat, saw on his, sat on his lap and told him what I wanted. I don't mm. like sitting on his lap. It, it's weird, but I don't. You don't like see. You don't like sitting on Santa's lap. No, because I know that's not the real Santa. The real Santa is up at the North Pole working. That's true. That's true. true. I know that that Santa is just for your kids' ears if they're watching. So then I don't break their hearts. <laughs> this adult time. <laughs> but um, I know that the Santa at the mall is is like a. Red a guy that's getting paid to do that. Like, I know Santa, Santa would never just waste his time and his busy schedule to come out for a, for all of December just to, like, let kids sit on his lap. So that guy's named Daryl, and he's getting paid $8 an hour. Daryl, if you're watching, <laughs> sorry we expose you. How does he know this name? I just guess. I, I just can't. I just. I just can't. Our child is smart, Daryl. Sorry. <laughs> I just. I just can't. If your name is actually Daryl, leave in the comments below. I. Daryl the Santa Claus. Read us your yetter. Dear Santa, I hope you get this letter. I would like two video games: Mario Tennis AS and Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. I have been good all year. Ish. I've been 80% good and 20% bad. Actually, truth. The cold, the cold has been getting to me and I've been coughing. It really sucks and kind of hurts. I hope you've been good. I can't wait for Christmas. I can't believe it's already December 3rd already because tomorrow will be December 3rd. So, that's all I want for Christmas, Santa Claus. Thank you. I hope the elves are work, are doing work, too. <laughs> you read that? Uh-huh. I love it. Yeah. Alright. If I get a paper cut. Alright, so you gotta put your very important reindeer stamp where the stamp goes right here. Oh, it goes right here. All right, now let's put one of these so then it gets priority. <gasps> now make sure you're on priority nice list, put it somewhere on the envelope so it gets in the good pile. All right, you wanna put attention Santa as well? If I put attention Santa, I hope it's just like 
as soon as the letter gets there, it's like, woo, woo, Santa, read this letter right now. You got to. That's why they give us these special stamps. All right, so this is Ryan's letter for 2018, nine years old. You excited? Yep. Oh. Alright, dropping the letter. Don't lose it. 